there's a lot of critics of renewable energy. There are so many haters of wind turbines in particular. There's always negative news. Look at this. Look at this huge pile of old windmill turbines. They're all being just sitting here, rotting away. Well, apparently, US researchers have discovered a solution. And this new sugar-based solution, yeah, sugar-based, I'm serious, will mean that wind turbine blades will be fully recyclable. This will kind of, you know, put paid to a lot of this negativity around wind turbines. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. I want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. And I also want to say a big thank you to Resync Solar. If you want a new solar system and you're in Australia, they are the company that I, after lots of research, discovered, had the best reviews of any company. And all those reviews are very real. I actually spoke to some of the customers who had used them before just to make sure I was making the right decision. Anyhow, I've, Resync have given me a link and they'll give you a bit of a discount on your system if you use my link. I'll put the link in the description below. I'll have a video coming soon. My system will finally be connected uh, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. My system's finally tomorrow, 28th of August. So I'm really excited for that. It'll be amazing. Researchers from the US National Renewable Energy Laboratory say that they have developed a new material for use in the construction of wind turbine blades that is both biodegradable and easily recyclable. The NREL researchers believe the newly developed resin made from materials produced using biodegradable resources paved a realistic path towards manufacturing wind blades that can be completely recycled and the components reused, ending the practice of old blades winding up in landfill and tip in various places at the end of their useful life. Now, I have done some videos showing wind turbine blades can be really kind of useful for different things once they've re reached the end of their usable life. And they can be repurposed for many different, many different things. In fact, they're actually something that I don't know why people don't use them for building materials. They make a lot of sense. But either way, the fact that they're going to be recyclable completely within potentially a few years is a big, big positive. Reneweconomy.com.au says, importantly, the new resin, nicknamed Pecan for polyester Coval covalently adaptable network, I struggled with that one, can be dropped into current manufacturing techniques, avoiding the need for completely new manufacturing lines or production techniques. And that is the big key here. When manufacturers make, say, some sort of battery cell and they can simply change the current process a little bit, continue to use their same production line and then have a basically an improved product, that's when these things are realistic and that's when they really happen. When manufacturers try and invent something from scratch and say, well, you need a new production line to build new wind turbines in this new way, that's when it doesn't happen. It's too expensive. Uh, companies have to justify the cost invested. In this situation though, it's really the ideal solution because they're basically saying you can continue to make, basically make them the same way you are, use the same production lines, just substitute one ingredient for another. There already exist several methods for recycling wind turbine blades. There are time and labor intensive. Unfortunately, these are time and labor intensive, making them a less attractive option for some, well, some businesses, governments, companies. This leads to the, you know, ridiculous kind of notion that landfills are filled with turbine blades all over the world and they're stacking up and it's a huge eyesore, rah, rah, rah. The truth is, guys, that um, coal dust <laughs> is a lot, lot worse. So yeah, even though this is true in many cases, there are wind turbine blades sitting, they're not really doing any damage to anyone. Whereas you breathing in coal dust is literally killing you or internal combustion fumes, etc. Apparently, Pecan could revolutionize the recyclability of wind turbine blades requiring only the use of a mild chemical process. The researchers built a prototype nine meter blade to demonstrate the manufacturability of Pecan and which helped them to demonstrate an end of life strategy for the blades, which included recovery and reuse strategies for every component used in their construction. So Ryan Clark, who was one of the researchers, he said the chemical process was able to break down the prototype blade in only six hours, which is quite a fast process. And this meant the recycling process allowed the components of the blades to be repeatedly recaptured and reused allowing for the remanufacture of the same product. So basically they, they're saying it's like a lithium battery here. You can recycle it, you can you know break down the blade and then you can reuse the same chemicals, the same products 
for new blades. That's one of the things I love about lithium batteries. We will no longer need to mine for lithium or sodium um, in about 25 years, most experts are saying. In around 25 years, there'll be more than enough. We'll never need to mine for them again because it's a closed circuit. You know, you can use, recycle all the existing lithium in old batteries, uh, potentially sodium. I'm not too sure about that, actually. But that would mean that, yeah, we'll be able to stop making all these kind of eyesore mines. And also, I mean, that's carbon intensive to mine as well. The resin is made using bio-derivable sugars, and it also disproved the idea that a turbine blade designed to be recyclable is less durable. Just because something is bioderivable or recyclable does not mean it's going to be worse, said Nick Rohrer, one of the two corresponding authors on the paper, which has been published in the Journal of Science. Thanks for watching.